Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you watch this. Um, in talking with the guidance department this morning at the high school, um, the students are a little confused on how some of their assignments are showing up in Schoology, and they're pretty much looking at uh, the right side of Schoology as their to-do list. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like in case you're not familiar with it and how you can check and see if your stuff is really showing up if students are telling you it's not there. So I'm just going to use my um, chorus, high school chorus as the guinea pig. Uh, they've done this before so they know that stuff is going to show up that they don't have to pay attention to. So when I look at my dashboard, this is what my dashboard looks like. These are resources that I've put in here for them. Um, over on the right hand side are the things that are upcoming uh, for this class that's showing up. And uh, so I just created this little test assignment. I'll actually walk through that too. But if I go look at um, a student, uh, so we'll do view course as, and we'll just take the top student off the list here. So we'll pick, this is what it looks like to her. So what's showing up is um, today's uh, hybrid check-in, which they don't have to do. This is just a grading thing that I have that I've explained to them. But then this is this new assignment that I created that would be due on Monday. And that's what they're looking at is this right-hand side is their kind of to-do list, although they see a lot more there than what is showing up just for your course. Now, you'll also notice that in my center section here in the dashboard, this, this new assignment I gave is all the way at the bottom of the list. So I'm going to go back to me and I can, if I create something that I want them to see right away, I can actually click on this and drag it up in my list in case you don't know that you can do that and put it right at the top. I always keep my agenda right at the top, but if it's something brand new that I really want them to see, I can throw that right there at the top. Okay. Um, so Let's create a couple of things. Um, again, I'm in my course class, so my agenda I post on Monday mornings. I do that by adding an event. And I just go in and uh, pick when it's going to go in. This is going to go in Monday morning. I call it the weekly agenda. And uh, I'm going to put in a link to my agenda. So this is the agenda that I have. So I'm going to copy this link address and click on add event again um, we'll put it in here for november 9th we'll do weekly agenda i'm going to click on the link and paste in my link to this and i'm going to call it uh, weekly agenda and then hit attach and so when i click save changes this is now going to show up for all the chorus students for Monday morning and it'll show up here and on their calendar and if they click on this it'll take them to this link and if they click on the link my agenda for that week is going to show up. So this is the agenda for this week that's showing up. I haven't created the new one yet but this would have an agenda for the week of November 9th. Okay. Um, and again, if I go view this course as a student, so we'll go look at this as again, you'll notice that the test assignment is now at the top of her list in the middle of her dashboard, and you'll see that that weekly agenda is showing up on her calendar. Okay, I'm going to go back over to course. Um, let's add another assignment. We'll make something due on Tuesday. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm just calling it test assignment don't do. So if any of the students see this, they know it's uh, something they don't have to do. I'm going to give it a due date of Tuesday and we'll make it um, due at 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Now you do have to give it a grade for it to show up on their calendar and in their to-do list. If you do this as an ungraded category, it won't show up in their to-do list because it has no value. So whatever the point value of this is, plus a factor of at least um, 0 0.01, however much you want to set the factor at, and then I'm going to put this in as a test, 
category again so the students know that this has nothing to do with them. And if I click Create, this is going to create it for the entire chorus. And you see, again, it's going to put it at the bottom of my list. So if I want to move this to the top, I can just click and drag. So now I have these two test assignments up here at the top. And you'll notice over here on the right-hand side of my dashboard, it shows these two assignments that I've created. And if I go back over here and view as a student, I'll see that this is showing up for them. When they look at my course, when they come to Chorus, this is what they're going to see on the right-hand side. And I'll show you what it looks like um, for a student with all of their stuff on it in just a minute. Okay. Now, if you want to use grading groups, um, I heard from somebody that they were having trouble putting things in as uh, grading groups and having them show up, but it should work fine. So again, I'm going to go add another assignment. Um, I'll even name this one a little bit different just so you can actually see. I'm going to call this test assignment three. Um, and I'm going to make this due next Wednesday. And again, I'm going to make it for 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And I'm going to make this one worth 50 points. I'm going to put it again in this test don't do category. But I only want to assign this to the remote kids. I don't want to assign it to everybody else. I'm going to click on my lock here to unlock um, my grading groups down here and then click on individually assign and I'm going to assign this to my remote grading group and then click create and we'll give it a few seconds to sync up and you'll notice over here it's showing up as test assessment assignment number three on Wednesday and it's here at the bottom of my list again so if I want I can move this up to the top just so the students see this when they open up uh, their dashboard for the course class. But here's what happens on the student end. If I view this course as who is an in-person student, you'll notice that she does not have that assignment given to her and it doesn't show up here either. Okay, But if I go look at um, Go back to course. I could have done it from within that menu just by typing on a name, but I can't remember who might be in here. So, Anna is a 100% remote student. So I'm going to click on her, and you notice that she has the first two assignments that I assigned to the entire course, and then she has this one that I assigned only to the remote students. And then she also has it showing up over here in her to-do list, okay? So um, the students see everything that you post as long as it has a due date and as long as it has a grade level uh, assigned to it. It'll show up over here on the right-hand side for your course. But beyond that, you can see what the student sees for everything when they look at their dashboard. And you can do that up here in Tools and go to the advisor dashboard. And um, in this advisor dashboard, you can see a summary in the calendar and grades and attendance for each student. Now I'm gonna blur out this top just because I've got a student um, that I'm gonna use and um, I her grades are gonna show, so I just wanna block out her name. Uh, you may be able to figure out who she is if she's in your classes that are showing up here. But under summary, this is going to show me all the courses that she has along with um, her grades that go along with that. Um, and then over here on the right-hand side is all of the upcoming to-do things. So these are for all of the classes for this student and you can see that here's the weekly agenda that I created, here's the test assignment that I created for Monday, here's the test assignment I created for Tuesday, and then that third one is not showing up because this student is not a remote student, so it's not showing up here. Um, anything that's posted from any class or any kind of calendar 
is going to show up in, in this that the students are looking at as their to-do list. If I click on calendar, it's going to give me the same things but in a calendar view. So they can look at everything that's due today, everything that's due next week. So here's that test assignment and weekly agenda on the 9th and then the test assignment on the 10th and then nothing from me on the 11th, okay? So if you are curious if a student actually has things showing up, if you go to that tools and advisor dashboard and search for the name of whatever student you're looking for um, in their summary and calendar, you'll see if your class is actually showing up here um, as having something due, okay? Um, I'm going to go back over to courses again. So all of that is done again from within my dashboard and for any materials that you're adding if you're doing a test or a quiz or an assessment or a discussion or whatever whenever you put it in as long as you put in a due date for it. So if I put in a discussion and uh, I'm going to call this um, a test discussion and give this a due date of we'll go with next Thursday and we'll make it due at 11.59 p.m. Um, if you click on enable grading, I'm going to do this as test um, and I'm going to make this worth 100 points and have a factor there of 1 and click create you'll see that this is going to show up again in my list, test discussion at the bottom of the list, and then it's also going to show up over here in this to-do list on the right-hand side. So the students can come to your course and see the things just for your course, or if they go look at their dashboard and their calendar, they'll see a list of all of their classes with all of the things that are due for them on a weekly basis. Uh, hope that helps out.